Anyway. Okay, so it's your girl Sweet Pea back with another video. If it's your first time here, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Okay, so this is the wig that I braided. What was that? Like two weeks ago? The one I did with the adding the curly strands to the end of the braids and the curly strands in between. Okay, but y'all already know I'm a part of the itty bitty head committee. So I'm hoping this is, it's not like too much hair. You know what I'm saying? I could just see myself falling down the stairs, getting tangled up in a big old ball of hair. But here she is. It's like a lot of hair, but it is so pretty. And it's so neat, on point. So, you know, oh, and it's a used wig. So, do not get rid of your wigs. Do this first. So, you know, anytime I get ready to, well, anytime I uh, use a, a used wig, I always lay down my edges. Oh, sh ah! You know what? It's just already a fail look, y'all. The thing that I tie my edges up with got a hole in one of my curly strands. Ah! But look, it's okay. None of us is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one out. Where you at? Didn't mess up my video. But we're going to keep it rolling because we human and shit happens. Where is it at? <gasps> it's one in the front. Look. This one and this one got caught. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm going to just take this out. Where the scissors at? Look. This is a blooper. I hope y'all laugh and don't laugh too hard. Ah. Crap. All right. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We can always add it later. But this is what your girl looking like. Ooh. All right, let's get to it. I'm not going to cry. Ah. So what y'all do? Ooh. What are you guys doing? It's like 85 degrees out. So I'm just pulling back my ball cap. As you can see, I did the OG ball cap just on, you know, none of the holes around the ear getting blind. Nothing like that. Real quick. Y'all know, anytime you use glue, make sure to clean your edges because that glue will not stick. It's going to be coming up. So now I'm taking my foundation and my concealer, lighten this up a little bit. I mean, darken this up a little bit. I told you, this whole video is going to be a blooper. Okay, so here she is again. This is how it looks. So this wig was a used wig that I had been wearing. Um, this was actually the wig that I normally wear with like the rod curls. It's a full lace wig. That's what makes it so great. So if you got a full lace wig, you cannot just like throw it away and get rid of it. You can do all kind of braid styles with it. Um, I did do a strap myself and I had to pre- you know, I had to uh, resize it because, like I said, I'm a part of the Itty Bitty Head Committee. Okay, let's see how this go look. This thing is so heavy. Ooh, that's a lot of hair. Hope it ain't too much. Ooh. It's not even on yet, and I'm already feeling cute. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. I got to take my ring off because it's getting caught up in the hair. So, okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Get a straight. 
for my ears. So this is how it's gonna look. Oh, it's kind of cute. All right, let's put her down. I don't want to put it too much. But you really got to make sure the ears is down good enough. Just in case you might want to wear it back. You know what I mean? You want to be on point. I just dropped my clip. Ugh. All right. Let's see how we go do this. What I'm doing is trying to move all of the... Move some of the braids out the way. All right. That way it'll be easy for me to glue it down. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one side at a time. Because it is like really, really heavy. And I don't know, I think I just need to do it one at a time. Wait. Or... No, I'll do this part first. Now, even though this is like really heavy, I am only going to put one layer because I'm going to do super protection with holding spray. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. What I do, anytime I have braids, any kind, any kind of braids that have spaces in between, because the braids are like extremely heavy and like weigh you back, you don't want your lace front to start pulling back quicker than it needs to. So I always go in each one of my prop, each one of my parts on my uh, on my edge right here. Because, again, it's heavy, I'm going to go ahead and tie my edges up for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to do the baby hair. Okay, let's see what she looking like. Okay, okay, okay. Just a gang of hair, y'all. But I like it. Okay, okay. Now, y'all know I'm not the bomb at doing no baby hair. 
But we gonna see how she can do. We gonna see what I can come up with. Oh, this look horrible. All that gel. Why y'all didn't tell me all that gel and stuff was on there? <sighs> okay, y'all. Without further ado. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Time for the big reveal. I hope when I take this this uh, little head wrap off, my edges don't like come off and, you know, have to start all over. You know, we don't want no mistakes like that. Oh, it just peeled off. Okay. Let's Look, see. if you got any kind of curly strands in your hair, do not put clips on it because it will be getting tangled up on everything. Now, how am I going to wear it? I don't know. Let's see. I know it ain't going to be down because I don't like wearing my hair down. Just, you know, I don't Okay, so I got it where I want it. So I'm gonna put this rubber band up here. Don't get tangled, don't get tangled. Y'all know I love these little curly things. I mean, did I say these little curly things? <laughs> 